hopefully this is capturing. I'm trying to find a uh, good way for the game to work. I do have a test. I'm going to open this test game, load it, play around in here for a bit. This is with Fraps. This is Mistful Revelation. And this is at the very beginning of the game. Here's Atris. We're going to see a movie test. Hello, my friend. So you made it in one piece. So she's driving wasn't too erratic, I hope. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I can move around with this. Probably wondering why I asked. I have depth of field effects on and stuff. This, this is I not a formal LP, help. so... Don't worry about this. You know my son, Sirius Talking in the background. This is really important. 20 years ago after they destroyed many of the ages I'd written. Time, Catherine and I decided to leave them imprisoned because we'd hoped it might reform them. And, uh, now Catherine Please believes our son you. should be released. Huh? But I need oh, yeah, an I objective. Uh oh, I can't see my cursor. Why well, can't you know, the see my cursor? Oh, that's right, because it's moving, doing play, moving, duh. <laughs> No, I don't. It calibrated its sound component. Um, it'll actually be quicker if we can do this together. I can no, show you the two no, prison no. ages before we link to them. So if you step to the panel behind you, we can begin. Well, this is the first puzzle in the game, but I'm not going to do it yet. This is where Adris wants us to look, but I'm not going to look there. I'm actually going to escape out without saving. Hopefully that captured. Hey guys, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and what you just saw there was a quick test run of Mist 4 Revelation. It was recorded with Fraps. Just recently installed it. It ran very nicely. I did quickly uh, zip in through the first little part of the game and make sure it ran. Had a little bit of a scary moment when I first installed it where I thought it wasn't going to run. It was having some issues booting up because there were a bunch of programs open, so I just closed some and it was fine. And in that test video, you see me testing out some cursor movement and a movie and a few things. It looks brilliant on my new laptop. I'm really surprised at how well it came out. This is going to be a great LP, guys. I am super excited to do this with you guys. But unfortunately, I have a little bit of some sad news to make. Mist 4 Revelation is going to be my stopping point for the Mist series. For a number of reasons. Mostly for three main reasons. For one... I do not own any of the games past Mist 4. I do not have it in a hard copy, and there is no guarantee that the ones I would rent maybe from my local library would work if they even still have the games. Even then I would only have a very limited time to play the games. That's a bit of a lie, actually. I, I do own the open source game of Mist Online Uru Live, but the nature of that game is such that I would have to get people's permission for some of the puzzles because some of them are group puzzles. I would have to get people to help me like make sure things work. Uru Live is a very glitchy game. If you go into a borrow cave and try to jump out of it, you'll crash and the game will boot you out and kick you off the server. There are points in the game where if you have too many people in the cavern at once, the game will crash. There are points where the game will just crash for no reason. There's some puzzles in it I'm not very good at. There's some puzzles I have not done or finished. There's ages I haven't finished. And I would have to start an entirely new game to actually finish Uru Live in its entirety. Because there's only so many ages in Uru Live. Because of that, I'm not so sure it would make a very good LP. So, for now, Uru Live is on the back burner. Possibly in the future, but not right now. Second big reason why I'm not going to go on after Mist 4 is because I really need a break away from the Mist series, guys. I've been doing a lot of different games lately, and I don't want to just get tied down to the Mist series. It's sort of like what happens with an actor when they get typecast. Like Brad Dourif, you saw him in my Exile LP. Great guy, I love his work. But he always gets typecast as crazy, creepy guys in movies. If you, if you see him in movies, he's always in horror movies or supernatural films or sci-fi films. And that's because he got typecast. It's the same thing with LPers. Like, you get renowned for doing certain games. Like, there's a few LPers that have done that. Trintragula from Something Awful, he does the Sonic games, and he's most known for that. Red Chocobo, also from SA, does Pokemon games, and is known for the Pokemon games. And then you have some other people who are more known for 
Mario games or Resident Evil or whatever. I don't want to become just that missed chick. A third reason is that I do not consider Myst 5, for canonical reasons, to be connected to the Myst games. I don't consider them part of the Myst series. I consider it connected to Uru Live and Uru because it sets up the plot events for Uru and Uru Live, but it does not really connect much to the Myst series besides having Atris and Yisha in it. We even get a canonical explanation for this. The Stranger in End of Ages is actually a character named, I believe, Dr. Watson, I think, and it was revealed in a fall 2007 or so Q&A with Mist and Uru Lai fans in the cavern that he was the person who found Yisha and the Baro and the tablet in Denis and saved the Baro and set up the events of Uru Live. It just doesn't connect with the rest of the series. The Mist series, to me, is about Atris and the Stranger and the adventures that the Stranger goes on to help his friends. Another big reason is that I really just don't like Mist 5. I know that sounds like a petty reason not to do it, but I just hate Mist 5. I hated it, I just wanted to end the game, and while there were some good aspects about it, it just didn't feel like a Mist game to me. I can't stand the way it's controlled. I don't really have much of a attachment to the story because I'm not as big into Uru as I am into Mist. I don't like the music in it. I don't like the direction that the series went after that, really. It doesn't feel right. It's like how you have the Doctor Who fans who all have their favorite Doctor. Or you have the people who loved 10 and got horribly angry when, it, when he regenerated into 11. I, for one, like 11, but I'm not going to get on that tangent right now. It's the same thing with Mist. You have people who really, really believe that the whole series is part of it. There are people who think the first four games are not canon. There are people who find Uru and End of Ages not canon. Then there's people who find it all canon, but two different branches of canon. It's like in Legend in the Legend of Zelda fandom with the Splitist and the Linearist, though I think they did confirm a split timeline, if I'm not correct. Fix that for me, Zelda fans, if you're aware, but it's like that. As you can see, Uru and Mist 5 End of Ages just really are not viable options right now for me. I promise I'll try to do Uru Live at some point in the future if everybody really wants me to do it and really wants to commit to helping me with it if they're in the cavern. But End of Ages is not happening and Revelation is going to be the end. I'm very sorry guys, I know you probably all wanted me to go on, but it's not going to happen. I'm hoping to do some other games to make it up, some more classic games. I want to try for Alone in the Dark again this Halloween. Uh, I heard about a Doctor Who series of games that came out, two of the episodes of which are downloadable for the US crowd, and I may do those, depending. And there is uh, Call of Cthulhu Shadow of the Comet I'd love to do, if I can get it to work. And as always, I have some of my old favorites I'd love to do. There's a lot coming our way, guys, so don't be too upset over this. Great things are coming. You have missed four. You have a great series of LPs. I think they're pretty good. So just stay tuned. Keep your fingers to the pulse, and I will make sure that things get done and things get LP'd and everybody has a good time because I'm about having a good time. So this is the Phantom Safety Pin. I will see you later, and until next time, when we start Mist Revelation and uncover some loose ends about the Mist universe that many of you might have thought were resolved.